Hello to all my fellow miners out there. Today I have some more good news. I got a new GPU. So let's check it out. Here we go. It's the EVGA For The Win 3 Ultra 3070 Ti. So this is the GPU I was talking about in my last video. Um, I'll link to that about the T-Rex Miner Unlock. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really hyped about this. Uh, those who've been following for a while know I have another card. I got it at Best Buy Drop. Um, spoiler, that's also EVGA. Uh, that I'm, I'm keeping until I have some more room. I'm, I'm pretty saturated here. And uh, that's a really good point. I'm completely saturated. So I have six cards in this rig. Uh, six more cards here. This computer has two 1660 Supers. And... Uh, my main gaming PC has a 3060 and the Red Fox 1070 Ti. So, uh, how am I going to put this new card in? Well, by doing something like this. So, what I did is I ran a riser from uh, the third PCIe slot that's down there in this computer. Um, however, my power supply, I'm already using up both of the cables for it. So, I just reutilized one of my old silver uh, server power supplies I had. And uh, with breakout board, two cables. And I just zip tied my 1080, as you can see, to my spare case I have here laying around. Uh, this is the case that originally came with uh, the Z170 uh, board that I'm using for my first rig here. Um, I'm not going to get into too many details, but uh, this is the remains. So I figured I'd use it. But listen, it works well. Uh, it gets a bit hot because I have no case fans. And this puts off a lot of heat, which is kind of just being sucked in by this card. But look, that's what it is for now. I have... I mean, the reason I'm doing this is because I have a better solution coming, guys. So this is just temporary. Uh, yeah, that's it. So now, as you guys can see, we have room, thank God, to put this beautiful graphics card. But first, let's just take 10 seconds to pay respects to our supervisor here, making sure once again that I did everything properly and everything is safe. So do I get a pass? Huh, bud? Do I get a pass? Huh? He's like, yeah, if you leave me alone, it's a pass. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> On to the card. Let's crack into it. So I've been wanting to get one of, uh, one of these 3070 Ti's uh, for a while now. As you guys know, I have 3060's, I have 3060 Ti's, I have a 3070, and I have a 3080. And I'm not really interested in 3080 Ti's, if I'm going to be honest. They're a bit too expensive for, uh, for what they do for mining. Oh, I'm opening this definitely the wrong way. Okay, so that's it for the box. Alrighty, so let's crack into it. And uh, yeah, I got this off somebody locally. Um, and I only paid $1,350 for it. So that's about the same price I paid for my 3080 at Best Buy. But I mean, it is what it is. It's only one model down. And to me, this is like one of the nicest 3070 Ti cards. So it is what it is. And uh, yeah. Oh man, this thing's heavy. So, we have the card, then we just put it to the side. I think this is just going to be the manual in here, yeah, so nothing special. And a little sticker, which uh, we won't be using. <laughs> Let's get to the card. This thing is a beast. All right, guys, here it is. Spin it around. The 3070 Ti EVGA for the win three ultra. Uh, I'm telling you right now, this card is, is heavy. Okay. The cooler is extremely thick. So look at it from the side here. You can see that nice GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. Uh, it takes two eight pin connectors. All right. No surprise there. And this is an extremely fat heatsink. It reminds me of the 3060 Ti Asus Tough. I'll, I'll link to that video. Uh, yeah. Same standard backplate, it seems, as uh, the 3080 and 3060 Ti EVGA ones I have. Um, yeah, and I'll, obviously this one has the RGB. So the, the 3060 Ti for the Win 3 does not have RGB like this, where it's this whole light bar on the side. Uh, yeah, the offset fans here, you can see these two are higher up compared to this one. And we have three display ports and one HDMI. So that's pretty standard. Um, 
yeah, this, I'll say it again, it's heavy. This is a heavy card. So, yeah, let's uh, peel off all the plastic on here. That's really stuck on there well. Oh, that broke. Oh my God. This is like too much plastic here. When it's, look how hard it is to take it off. It's like baked on here. Oh my God, let's go this way. Okay. Okay, strangely, this one has nothing on the back plate. So my other cards had a uh, plastic thing on the back plate, and this one doesn't. So good for me. And yeah, that's it, guys. So I'll give you guys one last look here. Some shots of the fans. The heat sink. I'm going to leave this on until I put it in, but that's that's about the next thing we're going to do here. Well, yeah, I'm going to pop it in the rig, and uh, we'll get hashing. We're going to try Ravencoin, of course, as usual, and then we're going to get on uh, the T-Rex Miner LHR Unlock to see how far we can push this, and we're, we're going to compare it to the 3080. What a beautiful piece of GPU that is. All my other cards are mining here. Uh, before I start on this, I just want to do a little parentheses here. A lot of people ask me in the comments, how do I have two miners mining two different cryptocurrencies on one computer? So I thought this was obvious, but I'm getting a lot of questions. So I don't have a problem showing you guys. Now, um, it's, it's pretty simple. I just have two batch files for T-Rex. So here you can see I have a Flypool 30 series batch file. This is a batch file I configure for all my Ravencoin cards, which you see running on the left-hand side. And I have... Um, an Ethereum batch file, 3070, uh, that mines Ethereum on my Gigabyte 3070 over here. So all I do is I open this one, I open the other one, and then basically I just put one window on one side, one window on the other side, and, and that's it. There's nothing too, too special. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get back to the card. Okay, so here we are with the stock settings. We're getting about 35 mega hash on the uh, 3070 Ti. I put the fans on 90%, everything else is just stock, 100% power limit, and we're pulling 308 watts. So I'm gonna reduce that pretty quick. You can see the, the temps are up there too. And what I did is I plugged in my uh, real RAN meter here to the server power supply, and you can see that reads uh, 845. So uh, it bounces between 840 and 850. That's pretty close to the 900 limit, so I'm definitely gonna you know, power down the GPU. But uh, that was just a test to see how much I'm, I'm actually pushing this thing. You can see um, it's working pretty hard. It's on uh, turbo jet mode, as I like to call it. So uh, yeah, we got the, the base settings now. I'm gonna reduce the power limit a bit and uh, we'll get some overclocks on this bad boy. And after uh, some experimentation, uh, these are my overclocks for the card. It ends up being the exact same overclocks as Red Fox, but I'm telling you guys, I, I tried everything. I, I tried uh, the core clock. I mean, obviously the memory, I just maxed it out. Uh, but the power limit, I tried a little bit higher, a little bit lower. I experimented. 80 was really the best. So, like I said, these are the overclocks. And this is what I get. So, again, this card, just to be clear, is displaying out. So, that affects it. And that I'm even showing MSI Afterburner 2 uh, affects the performance. So, as soon as I turned the screen on, we were at 41 mega hash. All right? That's what it normally sits at. Now, you see it drops when I turn the screen on, which, again, is normal. Uh, and we're pulling that 247 watts. So that's pretty much exactly on par with what I'd compared to uh, with Red Fox last time. So these, uh, these 3070 Ti's are dying consistent. Now, let's check how much we're pulling on the server power supply. And we are pulling 773 watts. And if anybody was wondering about the stickers, uh, I'll have more on that coming with some, uh, some good news, guys. Of course, I updated the trusty Excel sheet. Um, you can see here, I added my entry, mining office. So EVGA for the win three. So we're both getting about 41 mega hash. We're both pulling 247 watts. So obviously that's gonna give an efficiency uh, that's very close together. Now notice the 3070 Ti is not the most efficient card, right? I mean, 
it's close to the 3060, it's not as good as the 3060 Ti or the 3070 or even the 3080, right? Uh, so that's, that's not great. But the reason I like these is look at the price. The price is really not that bad, everything considered, and the dollar per mega hash ends up being pretty good um, compared to some other cards here. So yeah, $32 per mega hash relative for the rest here uh, and considering the, the hash density, is, is not bad, I'm, I'm happy with that. Also, just take into account that my electric is not very expensive, so it disadvantages me less to have less efficient cards. I still want efficient cards, right? But I can make the compromise for a 3070 Ti and not be, you know, bit too bad in a sense. Um, so for the overclocks, like I said, uh, I'm running literally the same thing as Red Fox was running. That's what it was most optimal at. 80 power limit, 1,500 on the memory, and 200 on the core, so. Yeah, that's it. And these are my settings for T-Rex Miner Unlock. Uh, maybe I can reduce the power more, but I'm not even going to play around with it that much. I put 70 power limit and a memory all the way up. That gives me something in the ballpark of 56, 57 mega hash. Sometimes it jumps up to 58 uh, at 215 watts. Like I said, we might be able to lower the wattage more, but whatever. It is what it is. I started at LHR 6, and you can see that now we are at LHR 4. So it downgraded itself and it's relatively stable. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it guys. Uh, that's it for the 3070 Ti, very good performance. I'm gonna be putting it back on Ravencoin obviously, but uh, if you enjoyed the testing and all that, give me a thumbs up, especially for this uh, ghetto contraption and uh, maybe even subscribe to the channel. So uh, take care guys, peace and see you guys next time.